Hey everybody, it's Professor Williams and we're going to use the CDF in Minitab Express to solve for some binomial probabilities. 54% of coffee drinkers agree that more caffeine is a good thing and you can count me among them. So we took a survey of 40 coffee drinkers and we wanted to know what's the probability that more than 20 agree, fewer than 18 agree, 15 or more agree, and 11 or fewer agree. The secret to using this CDF in Minitab for these binomials is getting your input value correct. So here I am in Minitab Express and I'm going to go to statistics and I'm going to go to this CDF function. So what's important about this CDF function is you'll notice that the left hand side of the curve is shaded and that's because the CDF in Minitab calculates the probability that a random value is less than or equal to the specified X value. That specified X value is simply our input value. So we're also know we're going to select the cumulative distribution function because we are solving for more than one value of X. So I've got my dialog box and again we're a single value not a column of values I'm gonna come back to the value I'm gonna go ahead and say we have a binomial distribution we had 40 trials and we had an event probability of 54 percent so now let's look at what our value or input constant needs to be we can think of our binomial problem here as having between 0 and 40 successes. And I wanted to know what's the probability that more than 20. So more than 20 looks like from 21 up to 40. But the CDF solves for less than and so if I'm looking for 21 through 40, I'm going to let the CDF and Minitab calculate from 0 to 20. Then because I know this plus this has to equal 1, I'm going to take this probability from 0 to 20, and I'm going to take that and subtract that from 1 to find my probability of 21 up to 40. Whenever you're solving using the CDF and the sign in your equation is either greater than and greater than or equal to, we're always going to have to perform this minus 1 function. So we decided that our value, input value was 20. We're going to say OK and now I know that the probability that it's 20 or fewer is 0.3623 and change so I'm simply going to take 1 minus the 0.362395 and that's going to give me 0 0.637605 and I'm just simply going to say that 63.76% probability that more than 20 would agree. The next probability we looked at was fewer than 18. So the nice thing about Minitab Express is it has this make similar and it's just going to go ahead and give me everything I just did and now I just have to find out what my new value is. So in this case I was looking for fewer than 18. So fewer than 18 again I'm going to look at my my line here. So here's 18 and I want fewer than 18 so what I'm looking for is from 0 to 17 and because I'm solving for a less than in this direction I'm solving in the same direction as the CDF so no need to subtract from 1 I'm simply going to use 
17 as my value. So I have 17 in my value and I hit OK. And I know that that probability is 0.096 and change. So roughly 9.67% of the time we have the probability that fewer than 18 people would agree with that statement. The next one we had was what's the probability that 15 or more? So as soon as you heard that or more, you should have known that we were solving to the right, which means we're going to have to subtract from 1. So again, I've got my 15 or more. So here's my line from 0 to 40. And I want 15 or more. And when I wrote that 15 or more, that looked like the probability that x was greater than or equal to 15. That means I wanted to include 15 in my outcome. And what I don't want to include is from 0 to 14. So many tabs going to solve for this area from the 0 to 14. And then I'm going to take 1 minus 0 to 14 is going to leave me 15 to 40. So my input value here is going to be 14. I'm going to use my make similar, which is my favorite trick here. And we didn't want from 14 down to 0. I'm going to solve for that. And we see that's 0.012087. I'm going to take and subtract that from 1. And that's going to give me a probability of about 98.79%. Remember, because I was going greater than or equal to, I had to subtract from 1. Now, the last one we had was 11 or fewer. So now I'm going to say the probability of 11 or fewer. That equal to sign means I want to include 11. So again, I look at my 0 to 40, and I want 11 or fewer. So because I have the equal to sign, I want to include my 11. I'm going less than, so I'm going in the same direction as my CDF. So my input value is going to be that 11. So back to make similar, input value is 11. I'm going to say OK, and I know that that's what I was looking for. So the probability that 11 or fewer will agree with this statement is 0.000622, so 0.06%. As long as you can remember what that CDF in Minitab solves for by default, you can make the adjustment based on what you're looking for in order to solve for these binomial probabilities. I hope that you found this useful, and as always, thanks so much for watching.